Hi, this is our video for the gallery fluid motion. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Go and find an hourglass. You probably can find one in your kitchen. Or from some professor's desk. If you turn it around, you should see the grains flowing down continuously without stopping. But actually sometimes hourglasses might not work correctly. Why is that? In this experiment, you can see what happens. At some point, several particles form an arc and they block the neck, preventing the other particles to get out. And this is called a clock. A clock or an arc or a jam or a plug or whatever you want to call it. And this happens typically when the neck is small. By small meaning? Meaning that the neck is small compared to the particle. So if I have a neck where only one particle can pass, the probability of getting a clock is pretty high. So commercial hourglasses must have large necks, right? Yes, large enough to avoid getting clocked, but small enough to control timing. And this change of behavior from clogging to flowing is what we call a clogging transition. But this is the gallery of fluid motion, isn't it? If this model worked out for dry particles, does it work also for particles suspended in a liquid? Well, believe it or not, this hasn't been answered properly until right now. So here's what we're going to do. We fill a microfluidic channel that has a narrow neck at its end with water and we add a few particles that actually don't stick to each other or to the walls. We push the liquid very slowly, dragging the particles along and we count how many particles escape before a clock occurs. For the smallest neck, a few particles escape and then it gets clogged. Now let's double the neck size and you will see that the amount of particles that escape increases. Hey, but this is a lot of more particles. Indeed, my dear. The increase is exponential. Exponential? Then if we double the neck size once again, all particles flow out, just like in an hourglass. So it is possible to have a liquid hourglass. A fluidic hourglass. Awesome, isn't it? But... Is this really useful? Yes, because the amazing thing is that everything that we know about our glasses, which is a lot, we can use it for any other system. For example, with sheep. Ships or sheep? Uh, both, I guess. We know from experiments with particles and simulations that if we put an obstacle in front of the exit, the pressure there is reduced and the risk of getting clawed as well. We also know that walking slower towards the exit is the best way to exit faster because it prevents clocks and it prevents injuries when people need to escape. So, time's up. Thanks for watching our video and remember, keep flowing. Bye! Bye!